Hello everyone. Welcome back to study tips for IGCSE mathematics. Today's topic is related to Pythagoras theorem and similar shapes. Without further delay, let's begin. Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem describe the relationships between the sides of a right angle triangle, which means that the longer side minus the side that does not touch the right angle is known as hypotenuse. For this triangle, Pythagoras theorem states that a to the power of 2 plus B to the power of 2 equals to C to the power of 2. Okay, in this diagram, it shows you which is C, hypotenuse, which is A, and which is B. Okay, let's look at the example. Pythagoras theorem. Find the value of x in each of the following triangles, giving your answer to one decimal places. So for the question A, you got to find what is the value of x. Okay, so it's given x is similar to the C and B is 3 centimeter, sorry, A is 3 centimeter and B is 5 centimeter. So based on the formula given, A to the power of 2 plus B to the power of 2 equals to C to the power of 2. Then you place the value accordingly. A is equivalent to 3. So 3 to the power of 2 plus B. B is given the value of 5 centimeter. So 5 to the power of 2 equals to X to the power of 2. So we got 9 plus 25 equals to x to the power of 2. So if x to the power of 2 equals to 34, so x itself equals to square root 34. When you find square root 34 using the calculator, you might get the answer is 5.8309. But the question asks you to answer to one decimal places. So, as a result from question A, you might get the answer is 5.8 centimeter. Question B, given the value of A is X centimeter and value of C is 70 centimeter. So now you got to find a value of B. As usual, Based on the formula for Pythagoras theorem, A to the power of 2 plus B to the power of 2 equals to C to the power of 2. So A, in this case, for the question B, A is actually 8 centimeter. So A to the power of 2 plus B to the power of 2. In this case, B is X centimeter. So X to the power of 2 equals to 17 which is C to the power of 2. So 64 plus X to the power of 2 equals to 289. And X to the power of 2 equals to 289 minus 64. Okay. So you got X to the power of 2 equals to 225. So when you find X square root of 225, so it becomes 15 centimeter. Okay, next. Application of Pythagoras theorem. For example, given in this diagram. So the diagram shows a bookcase that has fallen against a wall. If the bookcase is 1.85 meter tall and it now touches the wall at a point 1.6 meter above the ground, calculate the distance of the foot of the bookcase from the wall. Okay, and then you need to answer in two decimal places. What you need to do is, by knowing that 
when you draw the diagram, is actually this is a triangle. If you look closely, closely to this diagram, this is a triangle, whereby 1.8 meter is equivalent is is a value of C, and 1.6 meter is a value of B, and you got to find the A. A means in this case is X meter. Okay, so apply the Pythagoras theorem formula where a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2 equals to c to the power of 2. So x to the power of 2 plus 1.6 to the power of 2 equals to 1.85 to the power of 2. So 1.85 to the power of 2 minus 1.6 to the power of 2 is equivalent to 3.4 2 to 5 minus 2.56. So the total x to the power of 2 is equal to 0 0.8625. So when you use the calculator to find x square root 0 0.8625, so you might get the answer is 0 0.93 meter. Okay, let's look another example application of Pythagoras theorem. The diagram show a pen that has been attached to the ground using rope. A, B, C, D, A, B, F, A, B, F, and D, C, F, D, C, F are straight lines. Find the height of the pen. Okay. So, if you break up these two triangles, okay, A, B, G, where you get 1.2 meter and 0 0.9 meter, the height A, B is 1.2 meter, B, G is 0 0.9 meter. But when you break up another triangle, A, E, F, A, E, F given here, so A, F means that 1.2 meter plus 1.2 8 meter is become 3 meter. You got to find the height. Okay. B A G. Okay. B A G is equal to F A E. The size, huh? the size. A G B. A G B. And A E F is equal to 90 degree. A, B, G equals to A, F, E. Okay, therefore, triangle A, B, G, A, B, G is similar to triangle A, E, F. So, how to find the height? The formula is, okay, 3, 3, uh, the height is 3, uh, the height, uh, how to find the height is, Height divided by 0 0.9 because BG is 0 0.9 but FE is not given the height. So how do you find the height is 3, 3 means that 3 of this height, AF is 3 meter divided by 1.2. Okay, so you might get Height equals to 0 0.9 times 3 over 1.2. Do you know how do, I, how do I get this? It's actually height over 0 0.9 equals to 3 over 1.2. Why 3? Because 3 is actually the total 1.2 meter plus 1.8 meter equals to 3. Okay. So, given the small triangle ABG is only 1.2. So, you want to find the height of FE. So, it's actually height over 0 0.9. Height over 0 0.9. And 3 over 1.2. So, you use the, uh, the concept of uh, multiply, multiply, uh, multiply the value height multiply by 1.2 is become uh, 1.2 height 
and 0 0.9 multiplied by 3 over if you find if you want to find height that means 0 0.3 times 0 0.9 times 3 over 1.2 so the height this value is equivalent to 2.25 meters okay it's very easy okay let's look another example he asked you to explain why the two triangles shown in the diagram are similar. Okay, are similar. And work out X and Y. Where is X? This is X. This is Y. Remember, the angle is the same, 108 degree and uh, 108 degree. And FED is also... is given FED is 45. Okay. How do you get the value of uh, B? That means ACB. How to get the ACB is the total of triangle as you know is 180. Given the value of uh, A, B, C is 27 degree and B, A, C is 108 degree. To get the value of ACB is you got to minus 180 minus 108 minus 27 and then you might get the value of BCA is 45. Okay, so 40, 40, 45. Same thing by FED. FED, you already know the value of uh, FDE is 108 and BFE is 45. So as you know that the total of uh, triangle is 180. So 180 minus 108 minus 45, then you get 27. So both triangle have exactly the same three angles and are therefore similar. So DE DE, okay, DE over AB, DE over AB equals to EF, EF equals to uh, divided by BC and equals to DC, EF equals to AC. So, Y over A equals to 18 over 6. Okay, so and equals to 3. So you get the, the value here y is equal to 24 centimeter. So how, how to get 24 centimeter? Uh, 24 meter. So 18 multiplied by 8 and y is equivalent to 18 multiplied by 8 divided by 16. Okay, when you write by 16, you get the y is actually 24, 24 meter. Same thing goes here. If you want to find the value of x, 9 over x, 9 over x equals to 18 uh, divided by 6. And then uh, how to find the value of x? So you get... Um, 9 times 9 times 6 is equals to 54 and x times 18 is equals to 18x so x equals to 54 divided by 18 then you get the value of x equals to 3 meter okay that's all for this topic so remember practice make you perfect please make practice so that